Hey guys, this is Gamby5874 and this is my Slayer and Combat Guide to Killing Water Fiends. They're level 115 and if you're doing it for Slayer they require you to either have Duradel or Curadel as a summoning or as the Slayer Master and they require just level 1 Slayer to actually get assigned them but you know you just have to use either one of those two Masters and they'll give you 128 experience each. They're in the ancient caverns, so the fastest way to get there is hopefully you'd have access to Zenaris. You just have to complete the Fairy Ring quest series, and you know they're pretty easy. Those were one of the first few quests I did, so I'd recommend doing the Fairy Tale quest. You only need to do I think part of part two to be able to use the fairy rings but I recommend just doing all three parts because if you do the third part then you don't have to worry about having the staff and you could just use that for extra inventory space and so yeah that would help you a lot if you don't have access to this then you can use a games necklace teleport to a barbarian outpost and then run south and jump into the portal or the whirlpool and then other in other ways you could use a ferocious ring to teleport right to Curadal and then climb down the steps and run I'll show you real quick if you use the games the games necklace method you know you get teleported right here and you just run right there water fiends are right there if you use Curadal's ring you'll be teleported right here you just climb down these steps right there and they'll be right to your north and that's pretty much there is another location to fight them but this is pretty much the best for gear you're gonna want any mage protection so you know dragon hide is kinda like the least you want black dragon hide and then from there you could just go up from there with either armadale or you know the ridiculously expensive one like the pre nix or something but you know dragon hide works fine i just wear dragon boots and gloves because those are little change in the magic defense but it'll be a lot of strength boost and whatnot as for weapons um a crop weapon is pretty much like the only way to really go with it you can use like a whip or karasi if you can't get another weapon but it makes a huge difference like the first few i killed with karasi sword just took ages and then i was like maxing with the zamoraki and spear like really like almost every other hit about the best weapon to use is the chaotic maul if you have access to that then a zamoraki and spear or Saradoman sword or the god swords and then you know there are just other stuff if you're using like one handed weapon then you know of course just use the dragon defender uh, that's pretty much recommended to buy or another defender you can use a mind shield or one of those shields with magic defense but it's not enough to you know be just like trivial in what you need but for your inventory you're gonna want the gem you can bring a spec weapon I usually bring a DDS but they're very strong against stab and slash with their defense so I don't I don't even bother with it you could use the spear um, special effect to you know push them back or whatever and stun them so that could help you with some food um, other than that that's all you really need they drop well also for you want to bring a summoning familiar I don't have one right now just cause I want to like test them out a little bit and you know just mainly all you really need to is inventory of food and for your familiar you could bring a bunny up with swallow hole scrolls or a, uni or a unicorn with the healing aura scrolls you can also use a titan with their constitution scroll or you can bring a tinderbox and logs 
before, you know, cooking the fish they drop. Because, well, before I get into that, um, if you're using the fairy rings, the code to get there is BJQ. And that's pretty much the fastest way. You can sit there from when you, like, teleport there directly, because that is kind of a one spot safe spot. So you can't run back into it, but if you don't move from the very beginning, then you'll be safe. But yeah, for drops, they drop a lot of, like, they drop five noted water orbs, so that's kind of worth picking up. Um, they'll add up. They're not too much each, but with five, you know, it obviously does add up. They drop quite a few seeds and herbs, just like the usual, and just like kind of the random crappy stuff. They drop like 20 noted snake grass, so that's also worth picking up. And then just standard ore and gems. They drop hard clue scrolls, so they don't drop elites or anything, but hards are still decent. And one of the main things that makes the bunny up with its scrolls so useful is they drop a lot of raw fish and cooked fish also. I got a shark as a drop, so you know, that is pretty good. And, you know, with the swallow hole scroll, you just need to use that, and then you just eat the raw fish how it is. And they also drop cannonballs and one dose of Sarah bruise and Zamorak bruise. So those are also worth picking up, and, you know, you just combine them into one. And then, you know, that's pretty much it. You have to ma maximize your magic defense mainly and one thing it's slightly not necessarily like important but you'll want to use protect from missiles because they do have a range attack that is pretty accurate and strong so you wear the dragon hide to prevent you know the magic damage which seems to be its more frequent attack but you know, you still want to use the protect from missiles because that is the stronger attack. And you have a quick escape right here. So if you are near the end of your inventory and running low on food, or if you're, you know, you need to restock your prayer, you can easily just run out there. Um, obviously, bring prayer potions also for your inventory. I didn't do that this time because I just want to test out the drops. For charms, you know, this is one of the best charm dropping tasks. They drop like loads of crimson charms. I think their rate is about like 75 to like 77 percent or something. So, you know, most monsters are like no charm or gold charm for that much, but that many crimson charms is really good for, you know, any summoning training. And you know whatever really can help you out with something because you'll end up with loads of crimson charms if you don't use prayer or if you do use prayer either way you'll still be taking damage but you'll want to bring a lot of food and the best way like if you do get this task or you'll be planning on going for slayer for a while just do the fairy tale three parts it's not too difficult and the bonuses are well worth it and then you know so once you're here if you find yourself low on food or you don't want to spend money on prayer potions you just run into the fairy ring and then you could even just use it back to Edgeville and then restock there or wherever else you would like to go and yeah that's pretty much it there's not much there's no special slayer task item you need to kill them and you know just they'll require quite a few trips because of food but it's one of those tasks where it's kind of worth it because of all the charms you'll be getting and yeah that's about it. they drop mist runes which will add up and those are kind of good to have any of those combination runes to save you and if you don't access to Zenaris then either I highly recommend you getting that or any um or just bring a one whoa I'll 
I'll do that later. And you know, just bring a one click teleport if you can't, just use the um fairy ring back to Zanaris. But anyways, that's it. Um the Zamorakian spear is like the primary weapon, so if you can get that, obviously if you could get the chaotic maul, then that's even better. But Zamorakian spear is one of those like this is a water fiend task item so I just bought it kinda to have it and I'm probably gonna resell it after this task or I might loan it out to people see if I could get money for it but you know it's like 4.8 mil right now and you know you could just buy it and resell it it doesn't really matter you'll lose you'll probably be losing some money but I doubt it's that much you could always keep it and you know, you'll probably be getting water fiends a few times, or if you want a power train um, summoning. And, yeah, so you could also use a god sword, that's fine. But if you don't have a Zamorakian spear, either buy one if you can afford it, or find someone that you can load it from, and it'll be a huge difference from using um, the just like a whip or karasi sword, or one of those kind of weapons. And,. So yeah, that's it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.